viewers, welcome to Sweet Reality Kenya TV. Today we are so honored to have uh, Mwishimiwa Francis Otiato. Uh, Francis Otiato Mwishimiwa is the MCA Yimbo East. Welcome, Bana Otiato. Thank you. Yes. Uh, on your Facebook page, I get uh, the name Dr. Francis Otiato. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. Are you a doctor? Yes. Okay. That is fine. Now we are meeting Dr. Francis Otiato. Welcome, Bana Otiato. Today we are talking about um, Imbo East uh, politics and development. Mm -hmm. Now in politics and development, uh, Dr. Otiato, uh, we just want to delve on uh, what you expect, your ambitions, um, what you have been yearning for. And therefore we will first of all start with that. Uh, what were your, maybe your five pillars? Uh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Tena Isaiah. Mm -hmm. uh, viewers, by the name of Francis Otiato, uh, MCA in Boist, and uh, the Chairman of Legal and Justice Committee at the County Assembly of CIA. Now, um, I, I want to say that uh, we, we had a lot of issues. Uh, actually, you know, in Boist, from history, we've been having a the development uh, problems have been our issue, all under all outstanding. So when when we decided to come to this, uh, actually you look at it and uh, say maybe from from 1963, lots have happened, and and the Imbo as a whole having been out of this political discourse for a long time by the fact that possibly we never had any representation, meaningful representation politically from Imbo was. You will realize from 50, around 53 years or so, the leadership has been from the circle side. And uh, you are talking of uh, the constituency? The constituency, okay. yeah. So uh, it's only in the last term that we had our, one of our own, maybe MP for Ochanda, mm -hmm. coming that in. That is Dr. Gideon Ochanda. Dr. Gideon Ochanda coming okay. in to represent us politically. Mm -hmm. So the Yimbo as, as a community was is hardly eight, eight years mm -hmm. in political representation. And that when you know when you are out of, uh, when, when your community cannot have a discussion, when mm -hmm. the people sit around the higher tables mm -hmm. and discuss distribution of resources, yeah. then you know what accompanies that. A lot of, a uh, lot of, um, will be, you know, with us, we will get it as the last choice, okay. Oh, I have I had some supporters from Imbo. Can they get this? So that has made us to be where we are. Mm -hmm. So when when and again the people we were taking uh, this leadership from, you realize when you look at the history, especially Imbo East. How did Imbo East come to be? We have got the two council areas. That is central and uh, and, uh, and the east, mm -hmm. which was merged to form a one ward. That has actually also made us uh, to be the second largest uh, ward in the whole uh, Sierra County. Okay. With around 189 kilometers square. Mm -hmm. uh, we are following closely to southeastern level. Which and is that is around uh, what voting population? We, we, we are currently having uh, around 20,000 registered voters. Okay. Yeah, but uh, the population is up to around 40. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, Imbo is to that vastness. Uh, in fact, from the people we are, I want to say, the people we are taking the, the, this leadership from, uh, you know, development is not all about politics. We have structural development, and and it starts with first of all doing the, the very basics. It's not a bricks and mortar that we discuss. Oh, leo tunataka kuchimba kisima. Tomorrow it is this. Before we even think about this major developments, what infrastructures we have in place. So, possibly the people whom we had initially, you leave alone even the fact that they were not able to, because I know there have been always this discussion about uh, there was no development fund from the councillors and the rest. Mark you, the same councillors we have, but people like Junetto are councillors, yeah. people like uh, Shabir Shakil or councillors, but they were able to do whatever they were they doing. They were able to do yeah, something. And, and they, they rose to that level and where they are. Mm. But look at what has happened into the history of Yimbo East, mm. where on this other side, we have had a generations of either the former councillor of Church, or mm. this other side, of the former councillor of Bera, mm. the other, we have the former councillor 
this guy from uh, from uh, Oduro. Mm -hmm. the quarrel, yeah. you have got councillors. There's a common denominator when you look at these councillors in terms of possibly uh, exposure to the current uh, current happenings. Mm -hmm. See, okay. uh, the darling of the people, yes. But then there are some levels of exposure. So they are, they are not doing uh, their work to expectation. Yeah, and, and we will not blame them. Because mm -hmm. like maybe if somebody like the church was the, our councillor, yeah. and uh, he was here for ten years. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, church went for ten years. Yeah, somebody like okay. Juenga was here for ten years. Mm -hmm. And you know when you have uh, when you have a leadership of uh, some of the people who will not uh, uh, maybe engage in some. The, you know the, the the levels of capacities of engaging the, yeah, um, yeah might not be so I, I was looking at this and saying that you see I can't be part of a society uh, that is not moving forward mm -hmm. Imbo East is composed of very good educated uh, men and women yeah, look at it uh, the professors and, 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 and people who are who are capable mm -hmm. And why is it that when it comes to political leadership, we get such a shy away? And we have at the extreme, the far extreme, we, we deal with the two extremes. Mm. Politically, we are to the extreme. Mm. We, may, we can even elect somebody who don't know how to write his name. Uh. Academically, we are on the far edge. Uh. And we have got the, the doctors and professors. You look at Professor Lumumba is coming from Imbo. He's Professor yeah. Menya who is heading the... Uh, the the architectural world is from Imbo East. Imbo. When you see Professor Won, uh, uh, Dr. Wondo, who is heading uh, the Huru 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 Kenyatta's doctor, uh, doctor Dr. Ongech, Dr. Ongech, who is heading, us. we have got the people. Okay, the doctor, mm. people. Now, with that mind, uh, so in this, when I was coming into this thing, mm. I wanted to offer an alternative. Having been exposed to this level, yeah. uh, you you today when you want to talk about uh, the best performing counties, you will first of all uh, in our region down there, you will mention Kakamega. I worked in Kakamega before devolution, mm. as in charge crime of that particular department. Okay. So I know Kakamega, almost the whole of it. Mm. So it has grown when I see. Mm. So by that, I worked in Nairobi for quite a number of uh, years, mm. and. Uh, I've been into the U.S. for over four years mm -hmm. while I was doing my Ph.D. program there. Okay. So when I came back, I look at it and they say, no, uh, we can change this. Mm -hmm. It's not about money. Mm -hmm. And again, by the fact that during the time I was at the, 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 uh, at the police, I was second to the ESCC. So I was exposed to a lot of investigations of what actually happened with the counties okay. and how the monies are being misappropriated at the counties. Mm -hmm. So, so you came about, into this knowing what you are coming yes, to do? Yes, it is, it is perfectly knowing which button to push mm -hmm. and where the privileges uh, are. Mm -hmm. Other than the presentation, you know, there it was we represent, mm -hmm. the quarrel that we have is to oversight. Yeah. The spendings from the executive. Yeah. So with the background from the ESCC as an investigator mm -hmm. and the background from the police mm -hmm. and these other times, I knew that when I come in, I will bring the much needed impetus to, to, to control the pilferages which were actually at the county. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that to this extent we have done a bit. Mm -hmm. A bit of good work okay. is fine. Though not happy for some other people. Okay. Now I come uh, now to your pillars, yeah. which are your major questions. Mm -hmm. Now you, you look at it. Imbo we have much water surrounding us but we don't have water at mm -hmm. the taps. Yes. So water is a problem in Imbo mm -hmm. East. So mm -hmm. that was one of my uh, agenda. Okay. Two, look at um, the road network. Mm -hmm. Being the second largest world, I have a total accumulated road network of about 430 kilometers. In Yimbo East, by the time I was coming in 2017, all the roads which were done were opened. There was no road without a single culvert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no road which was properly marked. So generally we had issues of the roads. So road network was the second, I think. Mm -hmm. The third one, I was looking at uh, development of the talent. Mm -hmm. You know the history of Imbo, we have Peter Dow, we have Achim Achim, we have all those very good footballers which are coming from the ground. And Peter and Dow is from Sakwa. The other guy, the, we have uh, the David, David Achim. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. So we have had some good, and Currently, we even have some of our boys who are going up to the trials, the national trials, yeah, and in coming football. back in football and yeah. coming back. They were lacking that exposure. Mm -hmm. Or maybe just somebody to uh, mentor them. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So we decided the other thing that we want to concentrate on is to uh, uh, develop careers, uh, uh, talent. Yeah. And in that talent, I'm very happy always to be associated with people like uh, even Prince Inda that we met in the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, Inda, I met him in Club Melody when I was OCS uh, Capitol. Yeah. When he was just the last week, he was with uh, Emma Jalam when stepping out. We were able to support him. Mm -hmm. One of the, we have been actually doing the support with the music fraternity. Mm -hmm. So, so where does Prince Inda come from? Uh, Ugenya. Oh, Kenya. Yeah, he comes from Kenya. Okay. But when he used to perform, you know, when I was an OCS, yeah. so we, used, uh -huh. we were neighbors with me, and I would easily see him. Okay. And again, with the interest I've had, I've supported quite a number of okay. some of these musicians. Okay. So I was look at, I was majorly also focusing on that development of, of talents. Uh -huh. <coughs> that I will, I will also give you details about. You uh -huh. asked me about five food security. I wanted to. Uh, it was my dream that we improve on food security. Uh -huh. That uh, we are also. Uh, I'll also give you uh, anything. Then generally youth empowerment. Uh -huh. If that will, will surface for now, uh -huh. then I, I will be uh, ready to get take your next question. Okay. Now on talent so far. What have we done? Uh, have heard of our theatre tournaments and yes, uh, all yes. that. What else have we done? Or uh, can uh, you uh, expound on now? Uh, on the on the side of the uh, talents, yeah. I want to say that uh, talent is wide. Uh, like you've talked about different sectors, mm -hmm. but because of our limited resources, I decided to go step by step and do what we can do now. Mm -hmm. um, I've decided to major on football <coughs> as the entry point to my talent sponsorships. Okay. So in football, what have we done? One, uh, in football, we started an academy, a football academy, and I want to be, I want to report here and proudly say that under the Sports Act 2013, mm. the first academy, even Gorma here is having an academy, mm. which is illegal, not registered by sports with. To fulfill the requirements of Sports Act 2013. So, Gorma here has an illegal youth academy. Yes. Uh, Imbo East. Imbo East. I'm just giving an example of Gorma here by by the fact that it was Imbo East mm -hmm. that got the first license. License oh. number zero. So Imbo East has a legal registered youth, youth academy. Youth academy. Okay. Licensed to carry out activities of an academy. Ah, good. So what have you done so far? Uh, so with academy? that, then uh, we 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 have we have been able to identify uh, students, pupils, and uh, majorly under seventeen. Yeah. Some of them we have sponsored and uh, give you full fee. Like you go to Majengo, you find we have about six boys uh -huh. who are now fully sponsored from Form One. So and I said within this academy, we are going to support them, give them fee. The whole four fully years. sponsored by by by, by, by me. Okay. okay. Uh, by me as the patron of the Yes Academy. Okay. So we have the students there. Yeah? We have a senior team that we we had put to role model the juniors, mm -hmm. so that they see. Even though the senior team was not our major concern, but we started it so that the the young lads that we are having up around, they can see what these kids are doing. And we were playing, that senior team we registered it to play uh, county league. Mm -hmm. By the time the COVID was coming in, we were still the top of Sierra okay. County League. So it's doing well? It's doing well. Uh -huh. In fact, this weekend, mm -hmm. from Friday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we are recruiting again, uh -huh. doing for senior team, which we have been advertising for that. Then, For, for that to happen, you must be having very good coaches. Yes. You get them from the within or even from without. We we, we get we currently we are having some few from within, but we get also from without. Okay. Uh, and in that, to enhance this particular uh, sports uh, uh, football, mm -hmm. we are currently uh, undertaking trainings mm -hmm. where we are training 25 uh, coaches and 25 referees. Okay. And our budget, like the, the last budget in county government of CI. We are in partnership with the Kenya Academy of Sports okay. to offer us those trainings so that the best performance will be attached to the senior team. But these other ones, we are going to re, uh, redistribute them mm -hmm. to our local uh, uh, sub locational uh, teams. Okay. 
teams okay. uh, so that they help us build those particular targets. Mm, in the same same field, we are doing uh, Nyangera Sports Ground. I hope now, now you, you've heard about the issues about yeah. mm. a discussion of whether Nyangera Sports Ground is a, a, a stadium or not. Mm. We are doing Nyangera Sports Ground, mm. to which when you go to the FIFA uh, and even the UEFA standings on the categories of sports ground, the only thing that you need is a, play, uh, a playing field with a capacity. Mm. We are doing 350. Uh, pavilion. Okay. That means it will be a pavilion where we have a, a 350 uh, yes, three fifty uh, seating, uh, seating capacity, seating capacity. On the pavilion okay. uh, with the terrace. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, so the work has already started. Yesterday we handed over the the, the project uh, to a contractor. Mm -hmm. He promised that he's starting that work on on fifth. Mm -hmm. it will be it will be. The work will be on as from okay. and we he gave us a timeline of six months. Okay. The work for uh, for the work to be complete. So it will be complete within your tenure. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's when we are going to do it uh, by by around in the next six months. Uh -huh. I know the, the the contractor will talk one on one, uh -huh. and there's somebody with the capacity. The, the issue of the other payments will be able to. Okay. Be able to sort it out. Water. Water. Tell us about water. <coughs> yes. Um, water is our major issue here. And I want to say, uh, by the time was, I was coming in, we, we I got Penwa Water Project on. I got uh, Agola, uh, Agola Water, Water Project so was, uh, was was there, but actually down because of some issues down there. Uh, it was, the pipes, some of the pipes were da were damaged during yeah. the road construction uh -huh. and so on. Mm -hmm. Then we had to go to Barkanyango uh, Water Project, Barkanyango Ogam Water Project, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, which was also down because of uh, some issues of management and, and so on. Okay. Then we had... Piping had been done. Yeah, the piping. It, it, re, it, it was used to go, then it, 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 it failed. Mm -hmm. Then we had got, got Matar water project. Okay. Now, I want to go step by step on this water project. One, uh, Penwa was to serve the whole Imbo eastward. Mm -hmm. Plus, the, the whole Imbo uh, generally. Mm -hmm. But, it was having some management issues. Is mm -hmm. it is historical? It was a community project. Later, some people came in wanted to take it over as their private uh, property, but we we have been uh, some sponsors or which people? No, it was sponsored by USAID. Okay. So when it came, when USAID did it for uh, Piengima Women Group. Piengima Women Group. Yeah, that is that's the one. Yeah. Oh, okay, Piengima okay. Women Group. So it was an association for the women group. Mm -hmm. USAID supported that women group by giving them that water project. Okay. Now, when the management became a problem, because you know the women were coming from all other so they decided to contract a private company okay. called Penwasco. So Penwasco is not Pen. Mm -hmm. Penwasco is a private company running the project on behalf of Penwa. So the names were just a coincidence? He, uh, possibly whoever was coming up with this was coiling it to fit the other, but there are two different uh, okay. entities. Okay. So the owner of the project is Penwa. Uh -huh. The private company running it on behalf of the owner is Penwasco. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that one is running up to now. At yeah, it's it's, it's running there is some water. Mm -hmm. Agola Water Project. So when we came in, the first thing I did was to take the Minister of Water around Imbo East, mm -hmm. so that we would see the status of this particular uh, water for water schemes. Mm -hmm. So when we went to Agola, they did as if. Uh, Evaluation for it to be operational, we need a round of 14 million for it to operate. Okay, revive it, do the, the water lines, and, and, and for it to, to, to continue running. Mm -hmm. Now, by good luck, as we were how much 14? 14 million, 14 million, yeah, because you know, the pen, uh, the Agola was having 11 villages mm -hmm. in Ramogi area. Okay. So, as we were proceeding on, uh, the, the this Ramogi technical came in, and we had a contractor at Ramogi mm -hmm. who. Who promised that as a form of CSR, you will do for us the rising mean and take the water to the, the to to the, the tanks up or, uh, at uh, the hill, uh, so that at the they yeah, the polytechnic, so that they will also be using water at the polytechnic side. So that was a CSR that they offered to do for us. Mm -hmm. Then now I was to do the distribution, prepare mm -hmm. all the other distribution lines. Okay. So you know the contractor was the, the, the husband to the former governor of. Uh, Met, uh, 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 Madame Laboso. Okay. So during the time that particular era, again uh, the, the governor got sick, 
and this guy had now to attend to the wife outside there. Then when this thing came, so so he had to be on the ground himself. He couldn't let the work go. You see now, because this was this this was now him as the contractor now doing a CSR to us, which is not majorly on the PQ. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that you know that is like now out of your small profit that you are making in a business with me, mm -hmm. you decide now to spend something yeah, to okay. say thank you to the community. Okay. So that will not be done by anybody else without him actually That's sitting and giving the hand of the Okay. So that has caused that delay. Mm -hmm. And uh, but we, we, we hope we are hopeful when that was happening we decided now to So he to will 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 he do it? Or uh, it's something. No, is is um. I'm not going to wait any longer for him to do it. What uh -huh. we what we are saying that if we will only need because I know the issue what that has been there is the the, the individual interest uh -huh. of like when we connect this to Peno, uh -huh. will we be getting something? Because there are okay. people who are running this water initially, and, and possibly something. they were getting something out of it. Okay. So they don't want to uh, loop it out. Uh -huh. But to me, I'm not interested because, again, actually, if you look at it, it's very hard for you to make any profit from water services. Yes, yes, it's, 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 so, uh, how at any given time, I will advise those who are running that project to allow us to connect it so that Have we will make a goal of people and uh, Penwa together to maybe streamline issues. We, we because the goal also have their own issues, they have their issues. Mm. Penwa also had their issues, mm. so there have been a lot of issue, uh, problems with the Penwa. In fact, the efforts that we have made, several efforts to meet even that Penwa mm. as a whole. Mm -hmm. There was even a time I carried the CEC uh, water and his team to the ground. When we reached Penwa offices, everybody disappeared from the office. But you, you know the officials of Penwa? We know, we know them. Okay. Yeah, but you see now we cannot meet on the streets. We must yeah, make it yeah. official uh, so that they come in. But that that particular platform they've never been uh, uh, easy for them. Can you look at that camera and tell Penwa people you are letting us down? That's true. Uh, straightly, I will say yeah. that uh, the management of Penwa has made us to be where we are today. Because otherwise, uh, the profits and whatever they are getting from that will have been able to be utilized effectively to extend this light uh -huh. across across the eastward. You got the quantification for a Gola project. Yes. And uh, it was said to be around 14 million. 14 million. Is the 14 million there? Now, this this what we did. Once we got that offer mm -hmm. and because of the limited resource that we had I had now to focus on the other other water lines okay because yeah. already this one we have gotten an offer the small amount that I had was to now revive Barkanyango water project which we also found stopped mm -hmm. so currently I will report that Barkanyango water project will is that the Ogam? yeah the Ogam uh -huh. Jerusalem Ogam and Barkanyango water project mm -hmm. we bought a new pump we did a line. Uh, actually, as we talk, that is a line that is serving the Barkanyango community. They have started now doing the connections. Mm. Uh, they have started doing the connections mm. at uh, the village levels. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the same that is uh, supplying uh, the school, the, the, the Barkanyango uh, secondary school, uh -huh. Bondo TTC. Okay. Now it is at Ogam. Okay. And it is at, uh, so the money Asa. used for this was hived from. Uh, the Agola yeah, water project. Yeah, there was part about one million from. I'm Agola asking this project. because there are some people who say, "Otiato okaope so auto erogam." Yes. Uh. Yes, I did that. Okay. We did that because one, once we have there is an offer, mm. we have an this other offer. Mm -hmm. So why would we use? Because the money needed here mm. is fourteen million, mm. and there is one million mm. that is pending here. This other project for it to run, it needs one million. Mm. Why would you keep this money this side? So we bring it for this other one to proceed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then now we major, we look and at it as a major, a major thing. Mm -hmm. Now while this line now of Bakanyango is operational, because now to it what we only need to do is to do now the extensions, start doing the extensions of the lines. Okay. But it but is the water is running now. Water is running up so at to least that is an achievement. Yes. Okay. The second, uh, the the, the, the <coughs> third water line now. Mm -hmm. When we came in, the same same pen were issue. Pen were were not able to test the line which was built initially started by Elisho Kuku, mm -hmm. the line going to Port Matar, mm -hmm. and because of even attempts to talk to the office and they were not able to meet us. 
I decided to now dedicate a line to Got Matar, separating that water scheme from uh, from Pengo. And that is how I bought a pump and did a line from Oele directly to Got Matar. Okay. Having separated that, we were able to negotiate with the donors. And as we talk today, we have successfully gotten donor funding and we have handed over that project to them that they are going to do it at a cost of 54 million to ensure they distribute water to Nyamonye, Papulela, Mago, Gotmatar, up to Achodo and Adua. So you are sure that will be done? Well, the only thing is that okay. the contract was handed. You know, uh, Dockers Foundation and Maji Milele, these are donors. Okay. And already they came, they did their survey, they have done their uh, their, their architectural work is done. Mm -hmm. And uh, last time when we were talking, because the time we were handing over this project, even the CEC water was there, and the chiefs, our chiefs were also invited. Okay. So it was something done formally. So, so we are still getting the, the run problem with it. now, the only problem, the real problem we have now is the Agola project. Yes. You don't have an issue with the, with the office. It's only that you are waiting for engineer Laboso. Yes, for him. Engineer yeah, who? Okay, for the engineer to, yeah, to, to come start off. Uh, to start but you've also process. said that um, you will not wait for the... For now what we, are saying, what, what we are saying is, uh, because you will realize these other schemes, uh, even the Bakanyango we were just finalizing this financial year. Mm -hmm. the, this other one, uh, the, 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 this one for Gotmata, mm -hmm. we were just doing it uh, the other day that mm -hmm. we were finalizing on uh, putting up that particular structure. So it has been taken over. Mm -hmm. So meaning that in the next budget, if we have to do anything for water, we will not bring the money in the same scheme that has now been taken over by the donors. Mm -hmm. So meaning our weight have been uh, at least lowered for us. Mm -hmm. So on the east location and some part of Nyamonye sub location has been taken care of by the donor. Mm -hmm. So the, may, the only remaining focus in terms of water scheme mm -hmm. is now Agola. Agola. So there will be two things that we want to do deal with them. But we still call for Penwa to, to have a harmonized meeting with Penwa. Mm -hmm. So that even if we get three or four or five million, we, instead of buying a new pump and building a new pump house on the rest, we use that money to buy pipes, lay pipes and do uh, corrections and connect the water supply from Penwa to a Gola pro uh, water project. Uh, yeah. But harmonize the management and actually call for uh, Call for rectifying of the management of Penwa. So the Imbo people can take the Imbo East people can take it that Mr. Uh, Dr. Otiape is no longer waiting for the other arrangement. Yeah. He only needs Penwa and the Gola people and every other. Uh, the, the stakeholder meeting. The stakeholder. For them, then we put that money in the next as our last because that is now going to be the, our last water project. Uh, okay. Mm. Can you call for this stakeholder meeting? Is it possible for you to call it? Yes, um, I will. I will. I will do that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll, I, in fact, I will also call in uh, the MP to, to help me in this because I, you know, MP was very much instrumental in reviving open and even putting up those other offices. Okay. Uh, we have tried, and and whoever have been there even to people who we have met at the office in Usibu, mm -hmm. when I literally went, you know, initially it was politics. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, Tiato, want to take our our water from. They are those petty politics. Yeah. So we, we, what we are saying that we are not interested. I am not interested in selling water. Mm. What I am interested in, and I actually I, I, I want people. people to get water. I am not even interested in who is managing that water scheme. Mm -hmm. I am not. So well, that, that's fine. I think that is taken home. Uh, Rhodes, you said there were no culverts <coughs> before. Yeah you have brought the culverts yeah. and we have to appreciate that viewers because at least we see culverts. There are some roads that were having maram but they would be easily washed away because there were no culverts yeah. but at least there's something going on now. Yeah. Are you also planning to make the other roads that do not have culvert have them before you are <coughs> before your five years? Yeah, you will before you start your sixth year? Yeah, there is one thing that I've, I've always said um, you know, we talk, people, we, we, in politics we compare, whatever works we are doing. Mm -hmm. 
you will find that even those roads on those kilometers which were done without culvert, mm -hmm. we are doing equal equal sizes despite, uh, despite even the, 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 uh, the, the economy status, uh, the changing economy status. We will use the one million to do the same size of roads mm -hmm. and do the culverts and maram. What never the happened? Same, is, same yeah, the same size or the same amount. Uh -huh. And we bring even rollers to compact. The first time we are compacting our roads after Marame yeah. is in this these years. Who was building whom? So before. And, and, and I, I don't want to go that direction. Hmm. But then But somebody was fooling. Yes. Those people will do ten kilometers and, and, and this 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 is what I always say with the uh, guys that you see when we do a road ten kilometers, mm -hmm. actually doing that road is not easy with that money. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just we just squeezing, trying to do whatever we can do, and and we make it uh, motorable. But do what the, the small sections we can do perfectly well. I, I so want you to. You are you are trying to say the people who are there were not really doing bad, but it's only that you have better connections yes, as yes. you are doing better things. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and and you know having known. Because like if you are given a BQ and you cannot read a BQ by engineer, yeah. and you don't know how to read a BQ and you are presented it, yeah. it's automatically, yeah. but yeah, but if, if I can read a BQ and tell somebody that, you see now, leave this, mm. do this, this one, up and ngum. Mm. when we talk about the thickness of the maram, it should be this number of lorries mm. to measure this thickness for this number of kilometers. You know, if you bring somebody who has never been into some of those then, then they will not even Point it. taken. So I'm trying to, on the terms of the roads, uh, I will report that, uh, yes, sometimes we have issues. I've, I've seen uh, complaints about, uh, say, like, Barkanyang, uh, Nyamwenye, Mago, Uduro Road. When we are coming, it was purely impossible. Mm. At the Kamola area and those other areas. But we have tried to do it. Mm. Now, there is one thing that uh, I will ask my people to understand. Mm -hmm. That you see, some of these roads, the money that are allocated are too small uh, for the roads. For the roads. Mm -hmm. But when it is small, we just squeeze so that at least the major bad parts mm -hmm. are, are done. Are well done. Mm -hmm. So Utapata, like in that Mago Road, mm -hmm. we were only having provisions for four calvats. When we have a provision for four culverts, the contractor did the four culverts mm. perfectly well so that the areas that were having water locks are now passable. Mm -hmm. But while doing that, there is a section maybe of the road which was having a culvert. Mm. It was having a culvert, but it was not part and parcel of the repairs mm. in these other new works. Mm. So when the contractor leaves, maybe after another one month, so that old culvert mm. breaks. Mm. Then you hear something. You see, one, 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 uh, one importance of uh, such a meeting yeah. or such a discourse is that you get to let people know what you're doing. Yeah. Now, uh, there has been uh, people do not know which are the roads that are being made by the MP, which are the roads that are being made by the MCA. Uh, maybe you could just mention the roads that you've worked on. There are several. I, I, what I only want to say is that uh, our, our viewers must understand mm -hmm. that any road connecting two wards, mm -hmm. any road connecting two wards or more, or cutting from one, one boundary of a constituency to another, mm -hmm. is supposed to be done by the MP's office. Okay. So the way you, any road that you see running across mm -hmm. wards, but in most cases, what we have always done, uh, I want to appreciate our Honorable MP for this, that we, we have worked once, that well, the time he has a tractor, he will work with it, not even actually uh, checking onto who, who, uh, the, the boundaries. As long as the road is bad, yeah, the road is bad, he comes in. Okay. I, I also do the same, that sometimes when, when as long as the road is bad, because we will not start that blame game. Yeah. Oh, nah, nah, uh, I'm asking this yeah, because no. people, uh, so many people are appreciating Mweshimiwa, like, you know the Rajombo road? Yeah. Yeah, people are saying, Mweshimiwa, you've done so well, you're even doing, okay? Mm. Now, if uh, that is true, then that is very good collaboration. 
we, 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 we work actually like uh, you know without that mm. we cannot do anything actually the amounts we, which you uh, use on the road is so much okay. like uh, say out of them with with the 15 million mm. you know 15 million if i do three ecds now doing a ecd plus stomaching uh, plus uh, those other things uh, tiling and everything mm. uh, our, our big use read about 4.3 million also so if i do two that is eight million mm. meaning a half of my my budget is gone I'm remaining with the less than 700,000, mm -hmm. 7 million mm -hmm. to do sports, to do or anything hospital, to do anything upon uh, water, mm -hmm. to do So anything. you have to prioritize. So, so I have to prioritize and mm -hmm. do them in a small way. Mm -hmm. And maybe now call for this. That is why you hear me say. That's true, the Have you prioritized on uh, health centers? Yes. I'm asking this because, uh, like, Radial Health Center does not have electricity. Yes. And it is said that some of the medicines that are supposed to be kept there cannot be kept because they cannot be refrigerated. Yes. Maybe there are other health centers suffering the same. Are you doing anything about this, or that is for the MP? Let me tell you, the health center was one of my priority. And actually, when you look at what we did uh, from the time I came in, uh, while working on these health centers, I, I understand the situation in Radier because one, Radier was supposed to be gutted for, for provision of water and electricity was supposed to be done to that particular facility. Long time and the money was there, about 600,000 or so for that particular work mm -hmm. in the last regime, which was never actualized. So, so the money was returned to the nation? <clears throat> so when, when I came in, I found that money uh, Part of it had been paid, and uh, there was some, some small amounts which were remaining. So efforts to call for these people to do these works were not fruitful. So what did, you, what did I do? I, I decided, because now I, I don't want to have a lot of issues, because then it doesn't matter began and you see when the people we make noise to be supported are among the people who are now start attacking us. Yeah. But we are just asking pertinent questions that are affecting our people. Money was here. Why didn't you do this job? Yeah. This is public money. Mm -hmm. So in some situations we remove that money. Mm -hmm. During the budget, supplementary budget, we remove it there to do another project okay. on the same sector. So that if they were doing, you know, they were putting money there not to be used for them to squander it, mm. they get it not there. Okay. But we so the money has been used. So we relocated. Well. What we did, what I did, I removed that money. And uh, when we removed it, we added some other monies mm. to do completion of the, uh, the, 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 the staff house. You see the, the officer in charge of Usigu the health center. Mm. Usigu we were looking forward for it to be elevated to level 4 hospital mm -hmm. but it had no accommodation of the officers okay. inside so some of our officers were sleeping in the, 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 the wards mm -hmm. so I needed at least two rooms for the nurses and complete the, the in charge room mm -hmm. so the in charge room there were delayed of handing over from the national government to the county government but mm -hmm. now it has been contracted it's supposed to be done but the other two rooms were already complete. So in terms of hospital, I wanted Imbo East to have a level 4 hospital, okay. which was to be Usibu, one of the oldest from 1960s. Mm. So I'm done with that particular sector, mm. and the doctors are there, we are now doing the completion. Mm. So the other areas that needed to be fenced, like uh, Diwo, we, we did the fencing of Diwo, mm. we did the fencing of uh, Magombe, or Othach, or Othach dispensary, uh, fencing and getting all those other ones, but because of the some money we were removing from uh, from uh, from uh, Ogam, mm. which was meant for the dispensary to come and we complete this major because it's better we concentrate on one, we set whatever the basics that oh, yeah, was some money removed from Ogam from Ogam that from from Radier, from Radier, then yeah. for us because people will then ask now if if some money was removed from Radier, mm. some money was removed from Agola, mm. are the Goma community? Uh, you see, is it fair? <laughs> no. So if, if there was some money removed from Ogam and all that, then... Yeah, there was some money also removed from Ogam, because we wanted to focus on this. So when we were removing this money from Ogam, mm. then whatever we did was to remove the money which was stagnant at Ogam mm. in the previous regime. Mm. We added with whatever we got from Radier mm. mm. to do 
the staff house, mm. you will realize that we didn't have a major staff house mm. or even any budget. Mm. We were not having a major budget for that staff house, but it was that. Okay. Now, the, 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 these are the guys, what we did to them mm. was that now we are giving you water. So that is how we ended up establishing our water point at, uh, at Ogam dispensary. Okay. So that, okay, we remove this, but we give you this. As Ogam community, now we are giving you, we are removing two million, we are giving you a water project at four million. Mm. So in one week, Viewers, it's at, getting more juicy, but we have to stop at some point because uh, it's taken long. Now, uh, Moshimiwa, um, finally, there was a, the, the former MCA used to give um, uh, 10 kilograms of sugar at uh, any fi every funeral. Was that happening everywhere or uh, you are not privy to that information? You see, the, and those, how would you take such? You see, that, 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 that those are uh, taking 10 kilograms of sugar. This, this was uh, personal donations. Yeah. To which possibly according to him, mm. he decided to say whether you are rich, poor or what, mm. My donation to you is 10, 10, uh, 10 kilograms uh -huh. of sugar, which is 1,000, one, one, one maybe 1,000 or yeah. 1,000. So that was a donation that he decided. Uh -huh. uh, personally, I'm doing it a bit different. Yeah. I know that that will be the direction that yeah, me. what people would ask. What yeah, are you doing? What, what am I doing? Yeah. <coughs> what I've always done is to look at situations. Uh, there was a time you find some other cases I've given uh, coffins. Some other cases I do, uh, the vehicles going to pick the, 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 the bodies from the mortuaries. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I give um, the, the chairs, depending on the requests that have been made. Okay. If you come and say, I'm stuck inside the Nagari, I will look at uh, a real situation. That, okay, now, for the purposes of this, maybe I want to have all the monies for the vehicle. The vehicle may be needing 5000 I have three thousand. You see, 3, the, the, the problem with that is that if there is su if there is a, a family that cannot reach you, then they would not get anything, even if they are discount. Now that's that's a, that, this the problem is. Uh, my office is opened, okay, and I have a, a, a gov it's a government office mm -hmm. being paid, and I have staffs being paid by the government. Mm -hmm. That even if you don't reach me, mm -hmm. you need to reach the office. Okay. It's like saying because you don't see the chief, you cannot get any service from the chief. Mm -hmm. There is office which is there operating, in fact, almost 24-7. Where is the office? Tell the invoiced people. Our office is in Yamonye, but currently we have built an office which we think by next week we should be launching officially at Karemo. That is uh, the former Kambi Kamaubo, just uh, behind Oele Beach. Mm -hmm. So our office is there. Uh, you can come anytime. Mm -hmm. Uh, my 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 phone lines are always open. Mm. Whether you go to Facebook, you will find. If you look at my page, you will the find offices call. are there. You can come anytime. Yeah. Now, um, I said on Facebook that we are going to have an interview with you and uh, uh, somebody, Augustine or Nienga or somebody, uh, gave me a photo of. Uh, some chicken brooding or something mm -hmm. is is it a project that is working or a yeah when 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 like i said the other aspect among my pillars were to improve our food security mm -hmm. and we have done it quite uh, in various ways the first level i did introduction to the field uh dairy cut uh, dairy cow uh, the, 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 the the dairy goods mm -hmm. to which i was bringing uh, in groups in every sub location we gave groups those so we had a pure breed pure breeds with one male mm. the one male was supposed to be used to cross breed the locals mm -hmm. so i did that per sub location we were identifying those groups oh, per sub location per sub locations mm -hmm. the second thing i did after that some some we have just to note how many sub locations do you we have, have six sub locations six in yes. one word yeah we okay. have six Mm -hmm. So the second group, uh, second thing we did was to give out the dairy cows. Equally, the dairy cows were give given to a group. Uh, now the, 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 the dairy cows, you know, there have been a problem. I realized when we were doing the, the, the dairy goods per mm -hmm. group, mm -hmm. the dairy goods per groups were taken. You know, the, those groups who have no parcels of land to run their own private uh, things. Mm -hmm. So they were to give them out to individuals uh -huh. or in somebody's home. 
they yeah, these are not there. registered groups. No, they are registered groups. Okay. But you see, most of our registered groups have nothing. You cannot say yeah. that, okay, we have a registered group, so we have a land in that place. Mm-hmm. So, if you give them as a group, they take to the home of the chairman. Mm-hmm. The chairman also having been overwhelmed by taking care, he now abandons them. Mm-hmm. And everybody is gone. So, we lost a lot of uh, goats because of uh, lack of proper care. Mm-hmm. So, when we now brought the cows, we decided to use a, a registered circle. Okay. So this circle, we said that because we had not, you know, when these things come, mm-hmm. sometimes you are just surprised they are here. Mm-hmm. Now we said, you must have had an experience in keeping these cows. Mm-hmm. So what we were doing was to give uh, out the numbers, we will give two or three plus a male, two or three plus a male. Mm-hmm. Now, those remained cows for our local uh, communities in those areas. So like in Pala, where we gave one, mm. that male was to be used to crossbreed the rest, the, the rest of the yeah. female which are there. In fact, I'm very happy about what is happening in the area of Usiku because Molimu, Molimu Ogola uh, has actually utilized this. Even my personal, I used to bring mine from Barkanyango to be uh, okay. to, 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 to that area. Okay. So that was the target. Now the last, this other day we were doing, we were to bring a chicken. Mm. The chicken. So let's say it. something is happening about yeah, in farming. Terms of, yeah, it's farming. only organization and uh, yeah. let people. So we did. We did that. We brought uh, water pumps for those who are planting at the lake site. Okay. Uh, we did. Uh, we, uh, we brought that. Now I think uh, we have also seen a group who have started uh, piggery, mm. and uh, I promise that we are going to support them. That's nice, Mashimiwa. Do you go to church? Because some some uh, some people somebody said that uh, in the comments that I got on Facebook that uh, I never see Moshimiwa in church. Uh, those who meet him and Marvel have only met him in uh, in some other areas. Uh, shed light on that I, as we finish. Actually, mm. um, I, I always say it has kia okinita nyakwa malaika. My my background is church. I've grown up in church. I do my things in church, and uh, I'm a believer. Mm. Not in terms of belief, in terms of helping the church. Oh, yeah. But you see, when you say people are be meeting me somewhere else, because yeah. you cannot limit me in two scenarios, either in my home mm. or in my office or in some social areas. In social areas. So when we meet in social areas, mm. that does not make me not. Uh, go to church. Mm-hmm. I go to church almost every Sunday mm-hmm. and actually be be, be informed mm-hmm. that you see the, the, the head other than one day to the head, the following head uh-huh. in the times of the spirits uh-huh. in Legio Maria uh-huh. who once once even says Mm-hmm. And that is my very close friend, that I will never do anything to, her, to, to wrong him uh-huh. as my father and the only person who ensured that he divided his... Yes, and I was one of the serious Mutotomesa and you know that, that <laughs> Then, Kidoki, Nokako, Aramonyo, Lomama, Nakoni, Roho ST, Dalo Kacha, Kwara, Kurunda, Rek Kacha. Viewers, that was a uh, sweet reality in Kenya TV presenting Dr. Francis uh, Otiato on politics and development of Imbo East. Final word to the viewers. Um, I know my final words uh, will not, uh, once as we talk about uh, working together. To ensure that uh, Imbo gets what it is, we need uh, political stability uh, to us, not always making a lot of noise for nothing. Let's work together, focus, and uh, and uh, maintain. The, um, I, I want to say that um, let's let's. Uh, and you can also appeal for votes next time. Yeah. Yeah. Generally, uh, I, I request our our members that uh, let's work together as a team. This politics is about, uh, uh, to me, my, my, my level of politics is about doing what I can do best for our people. Then the next time I will be out of this office, somebody else will come. But if we, we stay on making noise, fighting here and again, then even the person who is coming will not move us a step because he will be struggling to do the backlogs. So we, we are requesting the Imbu uh, East to come together. Let's work. Let's work. My office is open. Call me. 
let's discuss what you think need to be done. Where we are going wrong, we, my office is under an open, uh, uh, I'm having open, uh, open door policy. Come in, let's discuss it. Next year, we should now not be even talking about these coming elections. We have set standards. And I want to say, we are continuing setting standards. Kijaluo wachadhania. Katanyuol. Kaponi temu, binanemo kongope yoda nyape. Tiregubahati. Nyithindu ntika kidu waro. Mwuz. Ntire stages moko mangwa yudo wanyi thindu. It was yes, unique. Sotome, okay. yeah, dear Sotome, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this was Sweet Reality Kenya TV. I'm your presenter, Utieno Isaya, at Meet Teacher ID. Thank you.